YouTube, welcome back. Problem number 2461 is maximum sum of distinct subarray with k lengths. You are given an integer array called nums and an integer k. Find the maximum subarray sum of all the subarray nums uh, that meets the following conditions. First, the length of the subarray should be k. Second, all elements in the subarray are distinct. In other words, should be unique. So we should return the maximum subarray uh, sum of all subarrays that meets conditions. If no subarray meets the conditions, we should return zero. Um, okay, so let's make a, a small recap for this one. Imagine you have a list of numbers called nums, you, and you want to find the maximum sum of any subarray. Um, for example, um, a continuous part of the list that has a specific length k. However, there are special conditions. All elements in the subarray must be unique, no duplication, and the subarray should have length of k. So, if we take this as an example, we have we can create um, uh, one for five because we need to create subarray in the in size of three because k equals to three. So we have one for five, four. Uh, five four two and we have I guess four two nine etc but as you can see we didn't we didn't add two nine nine and nine 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 because which doesn't meet which doesn't meet the requirements because the element nine here is repeated so we need to make sure they are unique and from all the sub arrays we find 15 which was uh, the, the biggest one and we return it as an output. If we have this one as an example, the, an array with four with three fours in it, that means there is no uh, subarray at all that we that is unique. So because of that, we just return zero. There are multiple ways to solve this problem. We can just loop uh, multiple times, and we can just do a lot of things. We can use two pointers. We can use. Uh, we can just also. Um, uh, um, sort the application, sort the array, and try to search in it. There are multiple things to we can do in this one, but I would like to go in uh, using a sliding window since I didn't use a sliding window approach uh, for a very long time. So um, the solutions it will be in two steps. First, we initialize some variables. After that, we slide the window through the list, and in the end, we handle some edge cases. So how this works, let's just create some variables. And in you, if you are working in any sliding window problem, uh, you should know that you create a, about four or five variables in this in this like criteria because you, uh, a sliding window has some, not some, has a lot of variables being created. But also it's easy to understand and easy to write and easy as well to describe. So if you if you are in, 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 with your interviewer, it will be easier for you to describe and it will be also easier for the interviewer to understand what are you doing. So let's create some variables first. I will create a variable called n and it will equals nums.length. Okay, and I will create, um, and also it's something quite important. If k bigger than n, that means we cannot return any subarray so i will return zero this is an edge case like if k is larger than the length of the nums we return zero because we cannot create subarrays that is of a length of bigger than the actual array after that we create some variables so we have let max sum uh, sum which will equals zero for now we will have let uh, and this one we initialize the maximum to store the maximum value and we will return the maximum at the end we also need to create a current sum and this one it will to track uh, which was this one to track or to store the current sum window we will have let lift uh, this one is a lift pointer of the sliding window which will equals zero and we will create a const uh, set because since we should make sure that everything is unique, we could use a, um, a set. So a set to keep track of unique elements in the current window. Uh, it will e equal new set and voila. Okay, what are we going to do? So um, let's try to think about it. First, we could um, make a for loop and create a sliding window and also yeah pa, 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 pa. let me think let me think so i will create um, a for loop 
and inside the for loop i would say um let i or oh, i will call it right because we have left equals zero and um right should be less than n and right uh, is plus plus oh no plus plus okay this is good um what should we do next so um i guess we could create a while loop so um we could create a while loop that uh checks for duplication so let's do this while uh set dot has uh nums of of right if that was the case what should we do so we should okay so as the, uh, as we slide the window through the uh, through the array we need to ensure that all elements within the window are unique if we encounter a duplication element we need uh, to adjust the window by removing elements from the left until the duplicate is removed so what should we do about that if if um, if the nums if the set has the nums first we should delete it we should delete elements from the from the left so set dot delete it will be nums dot left of left of left the index of left and also um, we should adjust the current sum so the current sum will equal plus equal uh, nums of left and left should be plus plus okay so what's going on here so we first check for duplication so uh, we check if, uh, if the current element nums of right is already in the set and the while loop will continue as long as nums of right is found in the set meaning there is a duplication in the current window um, first we remove the elements from the left we remove the elements uh, remove the leftmost element from the set uh, and this one actually this line is remove the, the 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 element at the left pointer from the set uh, this necessary to maintain the uniqueness of the elements in the window after that we adjust uh, the current sum um, we subtract the value of the element at the, the left pointer from current sum uh, this keeps current sum accurate after removing the element uh, after that we move the left pointer to the right so um, left will equal plus plus and this one increments the left pointer to the next element this effectively shrinks the window from the left side so right now we're just trying to check for the uniqueness um, after that after that we need to add the current element to uh, the set up and update the current sum so what what should we do first we will set dot add uh, nums of right and i would say uh also um i will update the current sum car sum will plus equal um nums of right and we will continue adding and we will check we need right now to check if the current window size is k because the window size will, will keep adding um, variables to it and we keep adding um, values of the array and we just want to make sure that if the actual of, of our um, of our sum is is in the is the size of the current window so i would say if right minus left plus one equals okay okay what's going on here so um let's try i guess this one is uh it's pretty easy to understand because this part of the code is inside the sliding window loop its purpose to check if the current window has reached the desired size k uh, we should update the maximum sum uh, in it in if if the current window sums is greater and then prepare the slide window by removing uh, leftmost elements so let's just try to think step by step first let's try to think about this if statement so we calculate the current size of the sliding window and i guess it's uh, it's a good um thing to notice this one because you will find yourself trying to calculate the size of the window by this formula all the time 
um, in this one, calculate the size window uh, of the, si uh, the, the the size of the sliding window. After that, we check if this size is equal to k, which means our window has desired length. After that, we need to update the max length. So what we do max max sum sorry max sum should equal uh, math dot max um, max sum and the current sum. After that, um, we delete the lift. We should prepare uh, to slide the, the window by removing the leftmost element. So set the delete lift as well. Let's just copy that. After that, we need to uh, to do the same, basically. Do the same thing here. We remove the left element and we just current by one minus one and we slide the left to uh, the right. And I guess uh, that's it. And we need to just uh, return the max uh, sum. And uh, but we're not returning it in the uh, in the loop. Return. Uh, let's just try to run and see if it work. It did work with two cases. Let's see submit and see if it will work. It did work, and we are beating eighty percent. And we uh, we did uh, okay. It uh, we have one hundred to. 127 milliseconds, which I guess it's acceptable in my opinion. And um, yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. So we can make a small uh, recap of this one. So um, here we initialize the variables. And after that, we have uh, variables uh, to track uh, to track state. So we have max sum. Max sum will store the maximum sum of any valid separately found. We have current sum, and the current sum stores the sum of the current subarray. We have lift, and lift will be the uh, it will be is a lift uh, index in the current subarray, and it acts as a pointer. And we have set uh, and a set is used to ensure elements in the uh, in the current subarray are quite unique. And also we have right now here um, a sliding window loop, and um, the loop um, the loop expands the window to write by uh, one element at uh, the time. If the current element is already in the set, if the current element is already in the set, it shrinks the window from the left until the element can be added. After that, we update the sum of the current subarray and checks if it's greater. Uh, if largest seen so far, if the window size is k, it prepares to slide the window by removing uh, the leftmost element. And after that, we return max. And that's it. So that's it for this video. And see you in the future.